Hello everyone. I hope you can uh, hear me and see my screen this time. My computer almost exploded previously with everything going on, but I hope everything is good now. Is it? Okay, great. So I'm Alex Kyrgyakiris. I'm the CEO and founder of Few School. Uh, I live in Amsterdam and uh, originally I am from Greece. My talk today is quite different than uh, usual. It's not a technical talk as I usually do, but I hope you will enjoy it equally as much as if it was the Composition API. Um, today, I'm going to tell you the story of how View School started, a few things we are really excited about, and I will close with a big announcement for all View School users and the View community in general. It wasn't easy to figure out a descriptive title for my talk, but I think State of Use School 2022 plus big announcement sounds fancy enough and does the job. Okay, let's get started. A question I get very often is how View School started and why I started it. It's a funny story. It all started in 2015. At that time, I had about seven years of back-end development experience, and I was a tech lead in a small growth hacking team in Greece. We were using Laravel for all our back-ends, and we were experimenting with uh, several options on the front-end. Um, we had a good Angular developer in the team, but as a tech lead, I wanted to be on top of the full stack. But I really struggled with the front-end. I tried jQuery, I tried Angular, but all were very confusing for me. I was also likely spoiled by Laravel that does everything out of the box and the API is just so natural. Long story short, one day I stumbled upon a Vue.js version 0.12 tutorial at Laracast and it clicked to me. Vue.js seemed to resonate with my understanding of coding and looked quite similar to the Laravel logic I was used to. I immediately built a few sample apps and shared it with my team to change our approach for the projects we were working on at that point, as we were kind of stuck with Angular, to be honest. The team liked the idea and asked me how they can learn more besides the video course and the documentation. Vue.js had great documentation since the beginning, but I figured that there were no other resources available, not even a single book, which was the preferred way of learning for my colleagues. I wanted to help more developers know about Vue.js and make their developer lives easier. Because Vue.js was the best front-end framework I had seen and had such a smooth learning curve. I also wanted to help Vue.js grow in any way I could. Even though it was still version zero, deep inside me, I knew Vue was going to grow and become the way we write front-end code. I believed in Vue so much that I got obsessed with it. I started digging into the source code, interacting with the people who were using it, even with the creator, Evan Hugh. And fun fact, there was no Vue.js team until a year later in 2016. I soon decided to leave my job and write the first book on Vue.js. My colleagues thought I was crazy and they were trying to make me understand the risk of investing my, my time and efforts in this tiny, tiny library. Remember that Vue.js was made by one person who had to compete with Angular and React, also known as Google and Facebook. Now, in 2022, Vue.js has skyrocketed in popularity and is actually being used by both Google and Facebook on some of their pages. Vue.js today is also powering all sorts of companies from the smallest to the biggest, including Logitech, Adobe, Apple, Microsoft, to name a few of the big ones. So who's the crazy one now? <laughs> um, back to the story. I quit my job and worked day and night to understand the ins and outs of the view framework. And uh, I was writing the book for months. And it happened. The book was self-published in 2016 and the interest and support from the people were amazing. Within a year, we, we, we were receiving copyright offers from all technical publishers. 
And after a while, we had multiple print versions and the book was made available in eight languages, including Korean and Russian. Most of the translations were made by community members. A question I often get is if I made a lot of money from the books. Absolutely not. But was it worth it? Hell yeah. Up next, I was getting a lot of requests from my readers who wanted to continue learning with a project-based approach and more advanced material. This time, the audience already knew how to use Vue.js and wanted to learn how to build better applications, improve their code, and so on. As I was a developer by nature, I knew how I could teach developers further. Also, both my parents were teachers, thus I was very familiar with the education space. After a year, we launched Vue School with a Vue.js masterclass. A course that teaches Vue.js the best practices and the complete ecosystem by building a real-world application from scratch. It took 14 months of hard work to complete the course and the help of my co-founder, Rolf Hogg. We also collaborated with Chris Fritz, the creator of the original Vue documentation and an amazing educator, to make sure we follow all the best practices and tone the education side. Until today, the original Vue Masterclass has taught professional Vue.js to 5,648 developers and companies. And that is the story of how Vue School started. Over the years, we worked with many industry leaders on creating educational material. Together, we created over 650 Vue lessons. That is 36 courses on all the things Vue.js and the ecosystem, from the Vue fundamentals to form validation, state management, TypeScript, static site generation, and so on. We taught Vue.js for free to over 1 million developers. And at Vue School, we take pride in making education accessible. We achieve, we achieve that by offering a lot of courses for free and supporting purchasing Power Power. Over the years, we created a core team of 10 people who work full-time at Vue School. You can see most of us in this picture. We have helped and trained over 500 big and small companies. We presented at conferences around the world, and we had the chance to meet in person with our team and other people from the international community. We also developed hands-on intensive training modules, which we call workshops. And the goal of the workshops is to teach a team of developers a concept in depth within a work day. That one is our favorite to host. And we hosted workshops in-house, at companies, and at conferences. COVID had other plans though, so we revamped our hands-on training to make it available remote in our virtual classroom with great success. Which was also a lot of fun to host in the end. And typically here I would have a gift to refresh your attention before we change the subject, but I couldn't find something relevant, so I added a funny picture instead. These handsome folks that you see in this picture are Evan Yu, myself, Isabel Ortuno, Sebastian Chopin, and Alexander Chopin. In 2016, we had all traveled to Paris and hung out in a view meetup before the first talk by Evan Yu in Europe about this revolutionary new framework. Now, Six years later, we're all still here running Vue.js, Vue School, Vue Jobs, and Nuxt.js. How awesome is that? Oh, about Nuxt.js. As Nuxt grew, there was a new need created in the community. And we really like Nuxt.js at Vue School. Not because we are friends with the Nuxt brothers, but because it is an amazing framework. So in 2022, Vue School team mapped with Nuxt to create the first official Nuxt training. We called it Mastering Nuxt. Mastering Nuxt follows the same recipe of the Vue Masterclass, where developers learn the framework in depth by building a production-ready application. In Mastering Nuxt, we build an Airbnb clone. Again, that is a course for developers who know Nuxt and want to expand their knowledge to learn how to build or improve modern web applications. The instructor of the course is Josh Deltner, who is a Nuxt ambassador with 30 years of experience in development. Currently, he is the director of front-end technology at RealTrack using Nuxt. 
You will see Josh later today in a short video about the course. I will fast forward to 2021, our best year. This year we had a stable View 3 version, so we redid a lot of our video courses to use the latest version of the framework. We created a remastered version of our flagship course, the View 3 Masterclass, where we use the latest and greatest Vue.js, alongside the latest versions of all the ecosystem of libraries and plugins needed to create a real-world application. This year, we onboarded four amazing new core team members at View School, including Daniel Kelly, who is doing a fantastic job on all the new courses and tutorials. He even helped me finish the masterclass, which, as you know by now, takes a ridiculous amount of time. This time, we managed to develop the course in just 12 months. 2021 was also a big year for View School as we hosted our first large online conference. In September, we teamed up again with the Next.js organization to bring you Next Nation, a complete free two-day conference with the best speakers from the Next community. We received a lot of great feedback and decided to host Vue.js Nation, this very conference that you are right now, as well the Vue.js Education Summer Summit and the Next Nation, which both come later this year. Eventually, online conferences were, were also a lot of fun to host. Yeah, and you saw a bit of our, uh, of our backstage before with uh, all the technical errors. <laughs> um, great. So closing the year, we made a great deal for the community. We partnered with a software provider we love, Sentry, to create our first sponsored course. This way, we managed to make another great course free for everyone in the community. The course is just released, and if you are using Sentry or you are looking to implement error monitoring or performance monitoring in a Vue.js application, check it out. We do cover a lot of tips and tricks on how to use Sentry efficiently. OK, OK, it's about time for the big announcement. In fact, I have two big announcements, but uh, yeah, that would be ridiculous in the title. Um, the first big announcement is regarding the job market in the Vue.js industry. This is something a lot of people struggle with today. Vue developers need to find jobs easily, and companies and startups really need to be able to hire the right Vue.js talent that fits their needs. Both sides have been coming to Vue School asking for our help for years, and we have been providing it on a per case basis. Today, we are announcing the Vue.js hiring program by Vue School. This is a revolutionary new service in the community, as instead of having the developers apply for jobs, it allows the companies to find and speak with developers that meet specific criteria. We have developed a system, like a database, where view developers create their professional profiles. Companies then apply advanced or simple filters based on their tech stack, like, for example, Vuetify, Vuex, and TypeScript, and they find developers who have experience on this specific stack. Companies can also filter by other information, like the years of experience, full stack knowledge, location, and so on. Once they find the best fit developers, they can connect with them and discuss job opportunities. We have been piloting the hiring program the past few months with great success, and today we release early, pub, uh, early access to the public. So if you are interested, you can request access today at viewschool.io slash hiring. We do follow a first come, first serve waiting list, so the earlier you request access, the earlier you will get in. If you are looking to hire view developers soon, make sure to sign up quickly. On the other hand, if you are a developer actively looking for job opportunities, you can create your profile today to be included in the search results. The hiring service is completely free for all the developers. We do have over 500 qualified view developers registered in the system already from the View School community. But as company sets based on the exact needs they are looking to hire, everyone has a chance. We are very excited about the hiring program, and we hope it will prove really helpful for the whole community. Let us know what you think in the comments here in Vito or elsewhere. And now I will jump to the big announcement number two. Today, we are also introducing View School 3.0. It's been a few years since we released the View School website. And recently, we have been working hard on an infrastructure, 
and we're going to release a completely new version of your school in 2022. We are developing super fast front-end applications using Next and Tailwind, while we use Laravel for all our APIs. The big news of this new architecture is that it allows us to spin up new projects for the Vue community, all using the centralized Vue School API. This is also a massive improvement for the Vue School users because it makes it very easy for us to add new features and it is super fast. So fast, you ask, I will show you and I really hope it will work fast now because my computer is really suffering here. So um, this is uh, Vue School 3. Here is our next environment where we are testing the, uh, the newest versions. Uh, this is the homepage. You can see it's not much different from what we have right now public. But look at this. When I click courses, it opens up instantly. If I go in the course, it just opens instantly. Like uh, in, the, in the lesson we're here, uh, this is the first lesson of the course. If I click the next one, look at how fast this is. Like everything updates in a Giphy. And the URL is changing here. You might not notice, but every time I click here, it gives me the new video and changes the URL along with the text and the, all of the details. And the same happens for the other page. If I go workshops, courses, homepage, like it is just super fast. So stay tuned as we will be releasing Vue School 3.0 later this year. I will close the talk with a big thank you to all the Vue.js and the Vue School community. I really appreciate your support that has made everything we have achieved uh, today possible. Thank you so much and thanks for watching.